Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be designing an application. And in the next video, we're going to be prototyping that in an application called Protopie Studio. This company reached out to me a long time ago, and I'm finally getting around to doing this. Uh, they just asked me to check out the program and see how it works. This isn't like a sponsored video or anything. They just emailed me and say, hey, we've seen your channel. Maybe this would be good for you. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. I've had the trial for a day now, and I've made a few concepts, but overall I've spent about an hour or two in the program, so I've learned quite a bit, and I'm hopefully going to kind of help you guys get into the program if you enjoy it, and I'm going to tell you guys my opinions, and the big question off the bat that I have is how does this compare to me in After Effects, having complete animation control, so that's the question I want to see answered at the end of this video, and I'm going to give you guys kind of my official review at the end of the second video coming out after this design video. So today we're going to be designing an application for kind of like an image stock uh, app. So let's go ahead and get into Adobe XD and we will start to design that. And as always, the project file link is down in the description. All right, I've got a regular document open here for an iPhone 10. And let's go ahead and set up a grid layout. I'm going to do two columns, zero spacing on the side with a column width of 20. And let's see what gutter width that's going to give me. And that's one pixel off, so we'll make that 335. And then also on the top value, I'm going to drop that down to 70. That'll give us room for the little tab up here and everything that needs to go up there. Uh, first thing, let's go ahead and grab the status bar from the iPhone kit. All right, there we go. Uh, we're going to need the black one and the white one, so we'll copy both of them over. And we're done with that. And we can just paste that in. I'm going to center that up to my document and put it on the top, just like that. And this other one, I will just put over here to the side for now. Just get that out of the way. All right, so the first thing I'm going to be creating is a rectangle for our search button. and Or search field, rather. And let's make this a gray color. And the size of this is going to be 30 tall and 335 wide. And then I'm going to round this to 1,000 on the border radius. And then we'll just leave that touching here at the top. Next, I'm going to put some text in. This is going to be search images. And we'll put this to circular. And drop that down to like 17. Center that up. And then we'll center it up horizontally and vertically inside of our rectangle. All right, so we're going to have three categories. New images, most viewed, and premium images. So I'm going to duplicate this text holding alt. Align this to the left and just put in new. For now, we'll just change this to regular black. And this is gonna go 20 pixels below this rectangle. For this section, we're gonna have three rectangles of equal size and equal spacing. So I'm going to just drag out a rectangle. And this rectangle is eventually gonna go 10 below that, but let's first fix the sizing for this. So I'm gonna go with 105 on the width and 158 for the height. And then I'm going to duplicate that with Alt three times, centering the first one up, and then putting this one over here on the side. And then we can put this 10 below our new text. All three of these are going to have a border radius of 5. We'll remove the border, and let's just apply a gray color for now. And then we can apply a drop shadow of 3 on the Y value. And let's drop the blur down 1 to 5. I'm going to change the drop shadow color to a bluish black. So somewhere around here, bluish grayish. And then we'll put that to 17%. That looks pretty good. 30 pixels below these three images, we're going to have another section. So I'll space that out. And this one is going to be most viewed. Here we're going to need one image. And this image is going to be from each margin. So there we go. And then the height of this is going to be 223. 10 spacing below that text. And then we can round that to 5 as well. And then for the fill, I will change that to this gray and remove the border. I'm going to select one of these and hit copy. Select this new one and paste the appearance, which will add the drop shadow. I'm going to select the rectangle we just created and the text above it and hold Alt and drag down. 30 spacing in between that, and we can change this text to premium images, and then I'm going to hold alt and copy that over to the right margin, align it to the right, and say sign up. 
So this is the wireframe for the first screen we're going to be using. So I'm going to duplicate this now. I'm going to delete all of these at the bottom and then delete these images here and then this text. So we're left with this rectangle and the new text. I'm going to bump this up to 10 below new. And then let's change the height to 500 tall. We're going to need an icon instead of new. So I'm going to paste that in and then I'm going to delete the text. Down here, we're going to have some paging. So we're going to need three rectangles for that. I'm going to drag out a rectangle and make it 24 by 3. Apply a black color to that one. And then I'm going to hold Alt and copy it. 10 spacing and copy it again. Select all three and Command G. And then I'm going to center them horizontally to the artboard. And let's put 30 to 35 spacing here from this rectangle. On these two for now, I'm just going to drop the opacity down so you can see they're unselected. And that's the wireframe for our second screen. I'm just going to call this one paging. And then we'll duplicate this screen. And I'm going to name this full view. Here we're going to delete the search bar. Also delete this icon and the paging. We're going to remove the border radius on this rectangle and make it the full size of the artboard. And then I'm going to send it to the back using command shift left square bracket key. And this is where our white status bar is going to come in. So I'm going to delete the black one. And then we'll center this one up horizontally and to the top of the artboard. So we have something like this. Now we're going to need a closing icon. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that one in. And that's going to go right here at the top of our margins. Now I'm going to type out some text. This is going to say blue orange. I'm going to align this to the left. I'm going to put this at 36 size font. And I'll change this also to white. So I'm going to put this 58 pixels below the X that actually lines up with the top of this rectangle. Then I'm going to hold Alt and duplicate this and add 10 spacing to the top. I'm going to change this to an area text and change this back down to, let's go with 20. I'm going to adjust my area to the right margin and then we'll drag down for some room. And then I'm going to paste in a bit of text. And just drag that back up. On this, I'm going to drop this down to 80% opacity. So we have just a little bit of color difference between the title and the body text. The last thing we need on this screen is a download button. So we're going to do that by creating a rectangle. And this rectangle is going to be 80 by 53. I'm going to apply a 5 on the border radius to that. Remove the border. And I'm going to leave this at white and drop it down to 30% opacity. I'm going to put that into the corner and go over 20 and up 20. Then we're going to need a plus icon, so I'm going to paste that in. And I'm going to center it up inside of this rectangle. And then we can group that together. So with that, our wireframe is done. So I'm going to select all of my artboards. And I'm going to turn off the layout grid. And let's go ahead and start adding some color. All right, for the colors, I'm going to paste in some swatches. And I'm going to click the plus icon over here in the assets panel under colors. And we can just delete those rectangles. So we have a blue with a color code of 149FF5. A dark black with 1E2122. A normal gray, which is 9FAEB5 and then a light gray, which is F0F6F8. If you guys download the project files, I'll have all the icons, the character styles, and the colors set up for you guys, so you don't have to worry about it. But those are the color codes if you're not going to do that. So the first thing we need to do is on the home screen, we need to change this to the lightest gray. Then we need to change the text to the darker gray. Then all of our headings and our buttons need to be this dark black. Over here on the next screen, we need to do the same thing. So light gray and then the dark gray on that text. This icon needs to be black. So we'll set that. And then down here, I'm going to ungroup these. And this rectangle is going to be blue. And these two are going to be gray. And we'll set the opacity on that to 55 is good enough. Just something to look nice. Then on this screen over here, everything is already colored. So let's drag in our images. The first one I'm going to drag in is over here, and this is going to be a donut image. 
The second one is going to be an orange that's been painted blue. And then we'll do a lemon one. So these are all kind of food. The next one is this red cup bowl thing. And then the bottom one is a yellow image of a guy holding a basket. So in our prototype, we're going to select this uh, section here. And it's going to show these images. So we'll have a donut there. And I'm actually going to set this one. To the second page and drag in the blue orange because that's the one we're going to be prototyping as you'll see over here blue orange so with that selected then we'll blow this up to full screen so we'll drag that over so this is what our app is going to look like so basically in our prototype we're going to select this category we're going to have some paging to scroll through these three images then we're going to like double click on this it's going to go to a full screen give us some info and then we can download it and then we'll swipe down it'll take us back to here and in the back icon We'll take us back to this screen. One quick thing, this sign up button needs to be blue. Now we're done. So that's what we're going to be setting up in the next video. So if you guys aren't subscribed, go ahead and make sure you do that so you don't miss the notification for that. You can click the bell icon as well. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more UI related content. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.